Brought to you by Excel, makers of inexpensive and high quality Windows and Android tablets. Great gadgets for less. Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and I'm here with Reese with the Xano, Xano or Xano? Xano. Xano drone. This is a tiny little thing. So what does this do that other drones don't? Okay, well, we like to think of Xeno as the world's most sophisticated uh, autonomous intelligence swarming nano drone. Uh, it's an awfully big claim, but we've got the technology to back it up. Now, what Xeno can do that no other drone can do, it's entirely autonomous. It can think for itself, it flies for itself. So it's got a, an array of, a plethora of sensors that work in seamless cohesion to achieve autonomy. So right out of the box, you can begin capturing and sharing images like never before, aerial images. Okay, and is it record onto its its own device, or is it transmitting to something else? Or? So you can record locally, so it will come with an SD micro SD cradle, or you can record directly back via Wi-Fi to your uh, smart device. This is autonomous now, so uh, I could tell it to go fly. How, I, I, what's the range? Okay, so the range, Xeno operates on Wi-Fi. So the range is normally dependent on the small ceramic antenna in your smart device. So normally with an iPhone, you'll probably get 25 to 30 meters, which is about 100 yards-ish. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's for, for the intended application, we feel like it's sufficient. And it, and it can avoid obstacles also as it's flying? Yeah, absolutely. It's got uh, infrared, which can detect up to two meters away. We've had it detect a mesh fence up to two meters away. So it's incredibly sensitive. So yeah, absolutely, it can avoid obstacles. And it, now it's uh, dependent on the connected device, so it has to be within range of, a, of an iPhone or an iPad or an Android device or something like that? Yeah, sure, that makes sense. So basically, with, with Xano, it'll always maintain in the range. It's, there's a bunch of fail-safe algorithms built in. If it feels like it's strayed too far from your device, it'll prompt you on your iPhone and say, hey, listen, I'm, uh, I'm coming away a bit, and it'll say, do you want me to land? Do you want me to come home? Or do you want me to hold position here? So it gives you uh, back to base functions, you know. Kind of run and catch up with it and then keep it going again. So this is a Kickstarter, right? Is this a crowdfunded thing? So how's that going? Okay, so we launched on Kickstarter on the 24th of November. Uh, to date, we've raised just over 3 million US dollars. We've got 55 hours to run. Um, so we're hoping for one final push and uh, hopefully we get to the swarming. Uh, uh, stretch goal, which will enable swarming for everyone, which will be, just be great. What's swarming? Can you define that? Okay, so what, what you'll be able to do with swarming is you'll be able to control multiple Xanos from one device. So that'll allow you to have four, five, ten Xanos control from one smart device or your whatever, because uh, we've got a developable platform, and it'll allow you to capture uh, multiple Im images from multiple vantage points of the same event. That's pretty cool. In the air, no less. Right. Those, those matrix shots, you know. Yeah. Now tell me about what, what are some of the features on the device? Okay, so Xeno comes with uh, infrared, it comes with sonar, it comes with GPS, it comes with a barometric air pressure sensor, and it comes with, it's got inertial uh, navigation capabilities, and it comes with a microcontrol with all the data fusing algorithms to make all those uh, sensors work in seamless, co seamless cohesion to do something useful. This little grid on the front here, what's that? Sure. So this is, a, uh, this is an LED face. Now it's got 64 individual LEDs. Now primarily that'll act as your flash for nighttime photography. Beyond that, we're actually developing an LED pixel suite. So uh, you're actually going to be able to create your own pixel uh, art and icons that you can display on Xano. It also acts as a counter uh, for when you're taking photos. So when you're taking a photo on Xano, if you're taking a selfie of a group, send Xano out, you say, I'll oh, take a photo in five seconds. Uh, that'll then count down five, four, three, two, one, flash, photo. So no more selfie sticks, we're done. No more selfie sticks. <laughs> so people can still buy into the Kickstarter now, right? Right, so we've got 55 hours to go. They can jump on the Kickstarter campaign. If you jump on the Kickstarter campaign, you're gonna get your Xano first. You're gonna be the first person in the world with a Xano. That's gonna be shipped in June 2015. Pre-orders are going to be available, but they're not going to be shipped till later. So if you want to be one of the first per people in the world with a Xano, jump on Kickstarter. That's it. Next 55 hours from the time we're shooting this video. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait a while. Correct. Okay. Reese, thank you very much. Thank you very much.